Hey everyone, I'm Casey Hollins and you're watching the Sportsnet Digital Dose. We have a very, very special guest in studio today, Ari Dickey of the Blue Jays. He was just introduced as, uh, as the newest member of the team and we're all very excited to have him here. What does it feel like to be in Toronto today? Um, well, you know, I'm excited obviously. Uh, I'm curious about the city and um, it's a great opportunity to come in and meet some of the people I'm going to be working with for the next three or four years and so um, my wife and I both are ecstatic to be a Blue Jay and we're just happy to, to kind of get on with the process. Ari Dickey, for those of you who don't know, although I can't imagine who wouldn't at this point, is a bit of a rare breed because he's a knuckleballer, so he's not just like any other pitcher. And I was kind of hoping actually, Ari, that you would that we, you would show me your famous knuckleball grip, that you could sure. kind of demonstrate it. And I might try to even pick it up. Oh, you even got a Pacific Coast League ball, that's great. <laughs> so if that's the horseshoe or the baseball, I'll just take my fingernails and I, I, I dig them in right behind the horseshoe. And I keep my wrist as uh, locked as possible at this 90 degree angle. I'm going to try it. When yeah, you're done. and then when I let go, I just try to let go at the opportune moment so that it comes comes out with no spin. All right, horseshoe. Is this does this look almost right? Yeah, just about. <laughs> you should you should have an advantage because you grow your fingernails, right? I so try to. <laughs> you should be able to dig them in there. All right, um, they're dug right, in. That's right. You got the, the yeah. pinky. There we go. Now, I'll have to work on that. Yeah, we'll throw it about 50,000 <laughs> times and you should be able to get 50, it. 50,000. Yeah. Got it. I'll work on that. Uh, I noticed that you are, you're pretty big into Twitter and the young guns here in Toronto are, are on Twitter all the time interacting mm -hmm. with fans. Is that something that you see yourself getting into maybe? Uh, yeah, well, I, I love Twitter. I've, uh, I think it's a neat way to interact with fans and um, I've always uh, enjoyed you know, for me, it's 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 uh, not the frequency, but the substance. So mm -hmm. I may not be on there as much because I got four kids and they keep me busy. They keep you busy. <laughs> yeah, but uh, when I do get on there, I really enjoy it. I've noticed uh, also that your Twitter bio, in my opinion, is a pretty succinct one. Some of them out there don't say a lot about the person, and and I really like yours. And one of the things that's on it is Star Wars nerd. So I'm not yeah. calling you a nerd. You called that's yourself right. one. That's right. Um, but I'm. I don't know if you've seen other teams have done sort of Star Wars nights. Yeah. Is there? Is that something you might lobby for the Blue Jays? I'm sure you'd have some, yeah, some no, people I'd, on your I'd, side. Yeah. No. Sure. I'd lobby for. I think I might even participate in it. <laughs> so it would be fun. You know, I've always grown up with Star Wars around, so it's just, uh, it's something fun that uh, I brought my kids up in and we've had a good time with it. Is the whole household the big family of Star oh, Wars Oh yeah, nerds? Star Wars, we're, we're all, we're all like, you know, I'm Vader and my son's like Luke and I mean, we do the whole thing. I also saw you have some rabbits that are named yeah. after Star Wars. Yeah, yeah, they, my kids named the rabbits and one is a, a gigantic, uh, you know, floppy-eared bunny named Vader and then he has, he's married to Amidala, and they had ten, ba <laughs> ten babies, believe it or not. Oh, well, that's, yeah. uh, that's pretty impressive. Yeah. Well, I'm looking forward to a Blue, uh, Blue Jays Star Wars night if that does happen. Yeah, we'll I will participate. <laughs> I will wear a costume, that I can promise. Now, the last thing I wanted to ask you before, before I let you go is, is there anybody on Twitter or anybody that doesn't have Twitter that you wish did that you could follow? Um, you know, I only follow 12 people. So I don't, I don't follow 12. a lot of people, yeah. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, I, I enjoy... Uh, just the interaction, like the like the in the moment interaction. So like if somebody's tweeted me and I tweet them back, and then they tweet me and we get something going, it's fun. Well, if uh, if you get that going with any of the fans here in Toronto, they're gonna love it because yeah. we are all about that and all about the social media. So that's that'll very be very good. Exciting. Yeah. Well, I don't want to take up any more of your time, but thank you so much for coming in today. You're welcome. And uh, we're looking forward to having you here in Toronto. We're looking forward to the season. Yeah, you bet. That's all we've got for now. But check back in a little bit for another Sportsnet Digital Dose.